A newborn baby is a human being with the capacity of growth and change. And it is somebody. And from the day it is born, it is a person in its own right. The same as all of us, we like to do things in our own way. But above all things, reverence God. One who respects himself has a proper attitude towards himself and a sound, intelligent notion of his true worth and real value. See, I am somebody. I don't treat myself unjustly with low thoughts of myself, but by such thinking, I cripple my power because self-respect is a foundation of the right kind of pride in oneself. Our life, though short, it is a solemn reality. And each human life is a plan of God. And never are we justified in using even a tiny bit of our precious time in any but the best way. Life is real. And the grave is not its golden. Life takes on dignity and worth when it is recognized as a trust from God. See, I am somebody. I believe in the quote that says, saturate your life with thoughts of number one, success. Number two, achievement. And number three, accomplishment. This what plenty of hard work will bring about the fulfillment of our desires. Throughout my years of attending school, I've learned much in the various subjects. I've taken English, science, mathematics, etc. But how many of you know that history was the most awakening? And in this class, there were three groups of people. That were always discussed. There were the Native Americans, there were the Caucasians, and there were the African Americans. The Native Americans, they were here before the others, and they suffered much hardship. The Caucasians, they were also struggled much hardship. They dealt with the old country, they were fighting for their freedom. But guess what? The African Americans, they also experienced much hardship. We didn't want to come to America, but we were shackled and chained and sent on a ship under terrible conditions. But how many of you already know that story? So tonight I stand here on the shoulders of knowing that the Native Americans, the Caucasians, the African Americans, the Hispanics, the Latino, all of these people, they were of different origins. But do you know what? They were somebody. And so tonight I stand here to share with you that we must learn to live, work, and be together as one people and respect each other for what or who we are. I close with a poem from the book The Christian Minister by Sam Stone. You can tell what you are by the friends that you seek, by the very manner in which you speak. By the way you employ your leisure time, by the use you make of a dollar and dime. So you can tell what you are by the way that you walk, by the spirit in which you delight to talk, by the very manner in which you bear defeat, by so simple a thing as how you eat, by the books that you have chosen from that well-filled shelf. And these ways and so many more, you can tell on yourself, I am somebody. That's right, you are somebody. Psalms, Psalms 139 and 14 says, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows you very well. So I am somebody. Know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There are plans that he has placed in your life. There are gifts and talents that he's placed in you for his glory and his honor. God bless you.